as an applicant, I remember trying to really figure out the differences between the different genetic counseling programs. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things I really was interested in w is what, what was unique about the National Human Genome Research Institute and Johns Hopkins Genetic Counseling Training Program. Yeah, I'm so glad you bring that up because it does feel like, although it's probably very clear in our own minds what makes us unique, it's probably not so clear to applicants applying to our program and how you begin to t make distinctions between programs. So we really think of our program as having three pillars of our educational system. Um, the first of which being at the NHGRI is of course strong genetics and genomics training. Um, the second pillar is um, a real commitment to psychotherapeutic counseling training. And then the third is developing research skills in social behavioral sciences. Um, and because we have the luxury of a two and a half year program, students really do get exposure to a wide breadth of course opportunities and training opportunities. Um, and we really ought to also emphasize that we're able to capitalize on the public health courses as well at, as at, at the Johns Hopkins School of Public Health. Mm -hmm. And I think in terms of kind of the genetics and genomics aspect, um, is that something that we're really lucky is to be a part of the NHGRI here at the NIH. Um, and being here, we have access to the great faculty here as well as kind of international experts on different human genetic conditions, mm -hmm. um, which I think is something that makes this program super unique and really beneficial to the students. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're really lucky to be able to capitalize on that here. Um, and then with regard to the second pillar, um, the psychotherapeutic training model really is a core of our, our training. Um, and we've managed to capture that by having coursework that spans the entire breadth of the program. So starting in your first year and then sequential coursework that builds on the, the training in the first year throughout. Um, and in addition to that, we have a professional supervision process, which goes on top of the tr strong training you get from your clinical supervisors in clinic. And in professional supervision, you meet, each student meets for one hour every week with program faculty to work on their longitudinal development as a counselor. Mm -hmm. And I think also important is that, um, like other programs, we also have that time to meet with our clinical supervisors mm -hmm. as well. So to talk about things specific to that um, clinic, as well as talking about the specific needs of those clients. And I think that that's one of the things that really drew me to this program is the emphasis on growing as a counselor. Mm -hmm. And I think kind of after this program and that emphasis, I feel like I'm very prepared now to kind of enter into the workforce, mm -hmm. um, as well as just having the skills to remain a lifelong learner. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad to hear that because <laughs> we, of course, care so much about that piece of mm -hmm. our program. And then I would be remiss if I didn't talk a little bit about the third pillar of our training program, which is this strong emphasis on social science research. So we are, of course, situated within two strong research institutions, so we have a very strong commitment to research. And we want to train students who are good at critically thinking and, and also contributing to the research literature. Mm -hmm. So every student in the program has their own independent research study um, that asks a social science research question. And then at the end of the day, comes out with a product that is of publishable quality. So that is something we really put a strong emphasis on. Yeah, and I think kind of as someone who's went through that thesis process can say that it is intense, um, but such a great experience. Um, and I've kind of come out with a thesis that I'm really proud of, and I can't wait to publish it. <laughs> and then um, I think what's important with that too is that we kind of start the thesis process by creating our own idea and, and can really develop that over a lot of time. Um, and I think something that's also really helpful to that is we get so much coursework on developing research projects, um, including a thesis proposal development class. That was a huge, huge help. 